Newguys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Hold on. Two cars passing at the same time. Welcome to another edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Beautiful April morning, the end of April. You know, in the 50s at night, climbing almost to 80 during the day. Beautiful. Got a little breeze, keeping the natural way this morning. Still got to remind you, we got a little bit longer to go. Some of these people will open up with a lot of fish being caught all over the state. Uh, and good days and bad days because it's April. Some days you're going to have some stormy weather. Some days you're going to have some windy weather. Don't forget your mask. Even with your family, when you're going out and you're stopping and get gas, be, be conscious of what's still going on. Still people are dying. Still people need prayers, families being separated. So we're going to do it. It's playing havoc on a lot of the stuff that we do at this time of year. With all the rodeos, fundraisers, and everything coming up. I got my Swole Fest shirt on today. This time of year, we, we fill up with charities, uh, special events, rodeos, and things were going on. Uh, I heard rumors that Ground Out Rodeo is, is a good chance uh, s something might happen. Right now, they're back letting people, especially got camps, go back into Grand Isle. There's fish being get caught. I'll tell you about that more in the fish report. Uh, I just heard word that Swole Fest, you see this show? One of the biggest fundraisers there is, and he's down in one of the best uh, attended rodeos uh, is canceled. Don't know if it's going to be postponed. They're going to do something later. But Razzle right now, Swole Fest, the first part of June, is not there. Uh, fishing galore, one of the biggest things we've been covering 20 years. Uh, talk to Marty and them. They're going to do a virtual thing on their, on their Facebook page. They're going to be able to go and see things that were going on. They're over there showing the fine just to remind everybody that this is not a fundraiser. This was a fun day for the kids. They come from all over the world, but especially in Louisiana and the, and the country. Uh, I, I look forward. I'm very disappointed. Just like everything that's been happening right now in, in the state and in the country, it, it's very disappointing. What's, not, what's normal is not normal anymore. When we're going to get back, I don't know. We got a show today. We're going to be a little bit busy. I got uh, one of our friends, Perry Barra, or Barres, how you want to say it, but he's a Barra. Uh, he's over there in the Pontchartrain area. Made it a night trip. What what a you know he he come up with some great videos and uh, and he does this himself. He's a talented young man, uh, d down south fishing. So we get, we're gonna do a bit of that if we got time too. Uh, I hear Chaz is catching fish on top water. He got some good video on that and uh, we we even got a little short video of good golly Miss Molly. We got a fishing report. And that's all the news. Stay tuned for more Paradise for Louisiana. Why choose barbecue guys? Because this is barbecue guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, 
The smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. It's that time of year. CCA Star Tournament time. We might have a star winner, folks. Don't miss your chance for more categories, more prizes, and more smiles. Young and old, there's a division for everyone. You can win a truck, RV, boat, and much more. Sign up today for a chance to become an early bird winner. The fun starts Memorial Day weekend. Visit CCA Star to get your ticket today. South Fishing Events TV. Night fishing tonight. It's a beautiful night. Wind's blowing a little bit. I think the waves ain't gonna be too rough out there. Lake look kind of dirty, but that doesn't mean anything around these parts because the fish are getting acute to the dirty water. Tonight I'm gonna be fishing with my TFO ride. Now I've been fishing over here at Lake Pontchartrain, at least at nighttime for the last almost three years, and I've been mean, getting pretty good at it, knowing the times to go, the times not to go, uh, fronts move in, sometimes it does better when the fronts don't move in, uh, I just, I just can just feel it, you know, so, when you uh, get that itch, you, you, you kind of know that it's time to go out there, so, uh, I'm just cruising down the canal right now, idling it through. The wind's picked up probably about 15 miles an hour. Water temperature is 81 degrees. The winds are blowing out of the west. So it's supposed to get a little bit more brisk. I, from what I see from wind alert, yeah, the waves ain't supposed to exceed one foot, two feet. So if I get over there behind that drawbridge, I should be protected. I should be fine. But we'll be rocking too much, so we shall see. Y'all stay tuned. You're watching Down South Fishing Adventures TV. Every there we go. I told you. I knew I had a bike. I think he is, but he's coming in pretty quick. Come on. Feisty little redfish, boy. Second cast. Come on. Beautiful redfish. It's probably about 22. That's beautiful spots on him. Look at that. Double spot on the back tail. Some more beautiful spots right there. Look at that. Awesome, awesome fish. Awesome fishing here. Lake Posh train at nighttime. Woo! We're gonna see if we get some more. Let's go get them, boy. There's nothing really special to my technique. It's just cast out into the light. Tonight it's kind of different. Usually I cast in the shadows, but it being so rocky and the waves being picked up and the water's dirty, those fish are concentrating more into the light. So just cast into the light, pop, 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 pop. Let it fall about four feet, do the same thing. Again and again. All right, let's go get another one. Gotta make some groceries out here, right? Let's get him, boy. I catch fish like this, okay? It would not catch fish sideways, like that. This bait has some things that's not going for it. For one, it don't smell. 
And two, it's got to resemble what's out there. So you have to have a fighting chance. So you want that bait to be as line as possible. You want to match the hatch. You want to basically, whatever's out there, you want to do the same deal with all the fishermen. So you might jig, 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 and that don't work. You might have to do a slow roll, let it hit the bottom and do a slow roll. That don't work. You need to try a different tactic until it starts to work. When you're night fishing, you only have a certain amount of areas to where you can do fishing. So what I suggest is, is that every spot you go to, try a different tactic, a different style, different, different presentation until you find out how they bite. Like I said, right now they're biting in that corner. Normally, they'll bite in the shadows because they're ambushing. They're ambushing all the bait that's in the bright light, those redfish or trout. I haven't seen a trout at night in a while. It's hard, it's a little rocky out here. But anyway, um, they'll ambush. They'll ambush that bait. And uh, tonight, it's so murky dirty that the bait fish can't see the redfish. So that's why they're in that corner right now. At least that's what I that's that's what I believe. All right, so like I said, make sure that bait is nice and straight to give you the best chance of catching fish with artificial. If it's off a little bit, if this is hooked like that or anything like that, you're not gonna catch anything. If the hook has been pulled through the bait to where most of the hook is exposed and this bait is like hanging down like this, still not gonna catch any fish. Now on a good trout bite, different story. If you got a really good trout bite, you can throw a bare hook, but nighttime fishing, murky, you need the best chances, the best odds, or to make your make sure your bait is nice and tight and swims correctly. All right, let's get back to fishing here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, baby. Shout out to my sponsors, all the guys, Powell Bowl, TFO Rods, Matrix Shad, Outfitters, Sportsman Boats, Tim's Marine, KG180 Seasoning. That's where he's going, baby. Just wanna say everybody out there, stay safe. I know times are weird and everything, but it's gonna change. It's gonna get back to where it was. Just hang tight, sit tight, but keep fishing. Doing right now. Don't let it deter you. Tune in, guys. I'm Barry Bears. I'll see you on the water.
The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? It's that time of year. CCA Star Tournament time. We might have a star winner, folks. Don't miss your chance for more categories, more prizes, and more smiles. Young and old, there's a division for everyone. You can win a truck, RV, boat, and much more. Sign up today for a chance to become an early bird winner. The fun starts Memorial Day weekend. Visit CCA Star to get your ticket today. Why choose Barbecue Guys? Because this is Barbecue Guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. What you got, Mook? Yeah. What you got, Mook? <laughs> back up, 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 back up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Molly, what you got? Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Uh, you've seen a future, probably a future champion in bass fishing. Miss Molly, what a great one. Thank you, Don. It was a great deal. Appreciate you for, for sending it to us, sharing with us. Uh, we're going to start off with fresh water right now. You see these ponds and you see where Miss Molly was fishing. There are people around here right now. We'll remind you one more time. If you go to a subdivision pond, you better have somebody in that subdivision because some of these people are getting tired. People are just coming in, just making themselves at home, and, and they pay a fee every month. So uh, they, they can't call the sheriff or somebody and get you for trespassing. Don't do that. You know, just ask permission. No matter where you go, make sure you got permission or you're fishing with one of the, uh, the residents. So we keep that up. Uh, the hot spot is False River right now. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, the people sending me pictures. What's the exciting thing about it? is the chinker pen, red ear, lake runners, shell crackers. They're back at False River on the north end. The wildlife and fisheries put a lot, of, a, a lot of gravel down and everything when they cleaned it up and brought it down. It's a lot of work being done at False River. You know they've been catching bass. Uh, another thing, you know, False River canceled uh, the tournament on Friday nights and Tuesday nights. Uh, they're not ready yet to start back, but when they do, they're going to find a way to be safe. And uh, we talked to some of them people that, that put it on. I also saw in the paper Joe Macaluso was talking about, uh, they're going to be back. Let's be a little bit more patient, be a little bit safer. But them chinker pen, they, they catch them on worms. We used to catch them on grass shrimp. We used to Carolina rig, or uh, uh, we drop shot. We get in the flats, we find a good grad bed, and we found them, them shell bottoms, and we used to catch them big old chinker pen. But uh, I got a picture right now. They're back. They're back with some big ones. Uh, I got I got Gene and Jeannie, Andre, 
They sent us a picture last week. Uh, I got another one that I want to. Uh, Jeff and Wendy Robillard. Some people say Robillard. Some people say Robillard. I think Robillard is the way they say it. Uh, Jeff and them, uh, they're fishing with Maria Dubois. And I, I don't know how to pronounce their name, but uh, Tommy Bryan's. It's A-F-I-F-F-Ficondo God Service right there at Falls River. So you can look it up and see what you can do if you want to go catch some brim. They're catching regular brim on cricket. They call them Old River brim. You remember the days when we catch brim at Old River? Right now the water's high. We go back in the ballpark and get up under them trees and big old brim. Live crickets. Crickets is the answer on that. Uh, I got some more at Falls River. You know, my nephew and, and my brother and them got camps over there. Catching catfish is unbelievable. Catch them on crankbaits, but still the old stand is night crawlers is real good using shrimp, using catfish baits, using traps, whatever. There are catfish are everywhere over there at Falls River, uh, making a good, uh, a good trip and a chance to be together with your family, just your family, right there, and be safe. Uh, John Bernard, uh, he sent me a picture last week. I don't even remember I run it, but uh, he was so excited. John always taking people, that's his ministry, taking people from some of their first trips, either whether it's salt water or fishing uh, in the Grassy Lake area. He, he's, been doing a, uh, he's been doing that now. I've been sending it to me for the last three or four years. And John, you do a great year, but this one was for him. Uh, Jed, his grandson, Jeddy Steele, he got his first fish. I think I ran it one time, but I want you to see it again. And uh, and that's in a freshwater report. That's, you know, I'm here and they're catching fish. They're catching bass down in the Pontchartrain Basin, the different areas they fish, the Intercoastal Canal, uh, off of Lake Catherine, uh, the Pearl River. They've been having a lot of rain, a lot of water. Uh, but let, let me give you one. You know Lake Barrette is always very good for Sacolay. Uh, you've seen shows this past week. There was a lot of different shows. They were showing how to fish Lake Barrette and fish in that area. But let me remind you, the people that go fish Lake Barrette, it's a treacherous lake, especially in April and March and April. You know, it can, winds pick up. You want to put in the way you're going. There's not many landings you can put in there. I got a call from uh, David Pizzolotta. He told me they were catching a few fish, but the landing in Tacopa is closed. The water is all back up in the parking lot. So call around before you go to fish and make sure you find a place that's safe to fish and don't forget your weight. Uh, another report I got is, in, let me look at this right now before I get it. I saw the fresh water I got. Uh, the Grand Isle. Still hot. I want to congratulate Tommy Vidrain. If you've seen a Sportsman magazine this month, you saw this picture first on Paradise, Louisiana. That's his daughter and their friends. They're on the cover of the Sportsman this month. And uh, don't forget, that's another great place for source for what's going on right now with all this virus going on. But uh, I've, I've been calling around, and I mean, a lot of people have been calling me. Rudy got a camp. And photo, uh, Fauchon. Rudy's uh, been catching some big trout. Look at that, a lot of shrimp. And you see it, you've seen a picture. I didn't get to run it last week, but here's a picture of Rudy holding up some big trout. I'm talking about 23, 24, 25 inch trout. Uh, Island Marina, again, is hit or miss, but mostly it's been good. You let the weather stay down, they run into the Biloxi Marsh. It's a pretty good run from Island Marina, but Biloxi Marsh has been producing. Uh, I talked to a lot of people that fish Biloxi Marsh and fish right around their camp. Mike Gallo, uh, these people are still hurting for sponsors. They have so many cancellations. You can call them and get on their website and call them and tell them you want to come, especially people right here in, in town. You want a good guide? You don't want, you don't want a guest? You know, call one of these guys down there. I talked to Jimmy Corley. I mean, I saw his website, Jimmy Corley. Uh, Charlie Thomason, uh, he's getting beautiful stringers of fish he's catching. And uh, they've been safe, he, but he's losing a lot of those charters that he normally gets from out of state. So it helps these people survive, and you want to be safe, you call some of these captains. 
Uh, Ali Marina is my mainstay, you know that. Trent the Almonds and them, we got some pictures here catching fish. Uh, Richard Martin, I get to come from Big Lake, but he's holding a big trout. I don't know where it come from. I talked to him with Andy, but we always in a hurry. Everybody's running, but uh, Richard Martin, this is a big trout. You see him holding up with that towel. Chris Bidwell and his son, his first fish. This is young man, all excited. Uh, he was over there fishing with Captain Drake. So, and then uh, again, I, like I said, I talked to Dudley. Dudley's wasting, spending some time, not wasting time. He's been crabbing and taking care of some of his business, his soft shell crab business, but but uh, he's waiting. If you want to call, been having a little motor trouble, but call him ahead. He's going to be start, they'll be start scheduling fishing trips pretty soon. We're just waiting on the governor to tell us how to, how to advance and be careful. And then my old friend from South Carolina, you want to know why I'm showing this guy South Carolina? Most of the bragging people talk about our show is because we local. Hey, I've been following this young boy since he was a young man. His dad is a good friend of mine. Uh, we don't always agree on things, but he's a very good friend of mine and full of information with the state. And I'm talking about Henry Mouton. Now, Martin, he must be fishing every day. He's working at a marina over there. It's Captain Wilson Hanna and with, a, with a big, you know they got weak fish there. It look like a trout. So I asked him, this is, this is a speckled trout and it's redfin charters. Redfin charters in, in uh, Carolina. This is a 23 and a half inch trout. So, in fact, anything else I got? I've been hearing reports. Cocosry, it was hot. I told you last week. I didn't get none of it this week, but it's been hot. A lot, of, a lot of my friends went this weekend, yesterday, in fact. It was a lot of muddy water, a lot of wind. Uh, in Hopedale, which they've been catching a lot of fish, they caught a few. They brought something back home and stink the pot, but it ain't been like it was. But it's going to get better. We keep getting days like this, and this wind die down. Get out and go fishing. Be safe. Don't forget that mask. Don't forget that mask. Do what the experts tell you to do. Keep on praying. We're going to pray ourselves through this. I promise you. God bless Louisiana. See you next week. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.